Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is going to be about the most basic pattern in mathematics. Uh, just kidding, this is the most basic pattern everywhere. I'm talking about evenness. Uh, you may be very familiar with this, but just for you to remember, uh, feel free to complete the following table with me. Uh, if you have an even number plus an even number, the total is an even number. Uh, an even number plus an odd number, the total is an odd number. Uh, an odd number plus an even number, the total is an odd number. And now an odd number plus an odd number gives a total of an even number. Now keep in mind that the second and the third line uh, mean the same due to the commutative property. However, I'm just keeping the two lines in here for completion. And uh, there is going to be a proof about these four cases. Uh, but that's going to be at the end of the video. Also keep in mind that there are a couple of exercises that can be solved with the pattern of evenness. Uh, that's going to be on a separate video. Uh, you may think that this pattern is not that common. Uh, however, it can be found in a couple of places. Uh, just quickly, if we change the operation of addition with multiplication and we change uh, evenness and oddness by positive and negative, and we are going to end up with the same uh, pattern. In this case, we have a positive number times a positive number gives a product of a positive number. And if we continue with the rule of signs, uh, we are going to end up with the same uh, pattern as we started. Uh, this case, uh, this surprising thing would be that negative number times negative number is a positive number. I mean, it's not surprising but it will make the kind of the difference. Uh, just for you to keep in mind, this kind of operation is going to be possible to represent as a table. Uh, for example, in this case, we have the addition, which we have that even an oddness uh, at, as in the gray table. And we also have the multiplication of positive and negative goes as in the blue table. Uh, we can compare the two tables and we see that the pattern, their shape is the same. Uh, also, their shape is pretty much chess like. It gives an alternating style. And problems that are based on alternation or that are based on chess like patterns uh, have pretty much a lot to do with evenness and are solved with the same ideas that come up a lot of times on evenness. Uh, there is going to be a discussion on the law of science and generally on properties of science, but that's going to be on another video. And here is just a just like pattern for you to compare that. It, yes, it has a lot to do with the table. Right now, there is not uh, exercises or problems about chess like, but that's going to be on another video. Uh, I would like to go right now onto the prop. Onto the, onto the proof of these four cases. And, and the proof is pretty quickly, it's straightforward. And you can leave in the comments uh, a solution, a proof for these four cases. Uh, I'm just going to have the proof of this statement in here. And just in case you want to watch a certain approach for this problem, or maybe you just want to come back to this information as you go forward into the videos of the channel. So let's go for case number one. We have that an even number plus an even number and uh, must give an even number. So we start with A, uh, let it be an even number and also B, let it be an even number. So we have that A equals to M and B equals to N. Uh, having a little bit more details, uh, this M and N are numbers that exist and they can be integers, whole numbers or natural numbers. I do not want to go that in depth into those things because this is kind of a simple video, a simple topic. And I do not want to go that deep right now into that complexity. So I'm going to have them a little bit aside. But just keep in mind A equals two times a number and B equals two times a number. Uh, now we can add a plus b, and that's going to be equal to 2n plus 2n, and we can factor the 2. And at this point, we have that a plus b equals the total of a quantity, that quantity being n plus n. And that's the definition, pretty much, of an even number. 
uh, which is being the double of a quantity. So at this point, we are done. And let's go for case number two. We have an even number plus an odd number. So let A be an even number and B be an odd number. Again, we just go for A equals to N and B equals to N plus one. Again, M and N are numbers that exist. Importantly, this M and this N not necessarily are the same of the previous case. There are just two general numbers M and N that make A and B have the properties that they that they have defined with. Um, again, we are just going to go with A plus B, and we do the addition, that's going to be 2N plus 2N plus 1. And now we are going to factor the first two, and that is going to give 2 times N plus N plus 1. And here we have the double of a quantity plus 1. That's pretty much the definition of an odd number. It is the double of a quantity plus one. So we are done at this point. Uh, case three, uh, it is pretty similar to case two. Uh, we are just going to have the symmetrical uh, problem. Now, A is an odd number, B is an even number. So A equals uh, 2N plus one and B equals 2N. Again, details about M and N. Uh, we do the addition. And now we are going to commute one and 2N and we are also going to factor the two, and we end up again with the double of a quantity plus one. So we are done. And there is an alternative for case three. Actually, we could have used the commutative property pretty early and just say that case two and case three are the same. However, yeah, let's just make more steps than needed. So, okay, again, A is an odd number and B is an even number. And at this point, we can sub them and uh, so we have B is an even number and A is an odd number. We also know by the commutative property that A plus B plus B plus A, just using the commutative property in the standard way that we always see, uh, which is uh, symbolic. And so by case two, we have that B plus A and it's to be odd because we now have an even number uh, plus an odd number, which must be odd by case number two. We are done with case number three. And now let's go for case number four. This case is about an odd number plus an odd number. So let the A an odd number and let B be an odd number. And we have A equals 2N plus 1 and B equals 2N plus 1. Details about M and N. So A plus B equals 2N plus 1 plus 2N plus 1. Uh, here I'm going to commute N. 2n and 1, so we have 2n plus 2n plus 1 plus 1. Mm, here we need to be a little bit careful because what we would want to have at the end is the double of a quantity, so we would want to uh, factor the two. Uh, the first two quantities are products, however, the last two quantities are not a product, that's a sum, uh, but we can write it as a product. So we do that and we have 2n plus 2n plus 2 times 1. And now we can factor the two. And now we have that A plus N is the double of a quantity, that quantity being N plus N plus one, and we are done. So we already have uh, proven that these four statements are true, and that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, let me know if you like it. I hope you like it. Uh, uh, leave me questions, leave me comments. If you want me to treat another topic in which you are interested, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.